two professionals debating unprofessionally, Trump and Biden. What is their body language and selective choice of words saying? Because my name is Davi and I'm a full-time magician. I started learning about psychology, how people think, and that got me thinking, what does this debate say, but not with their words? And please welcome the 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump. Do you guys see this? President Joe Biden walks in, he was limping a little bit. Trump walks in with confidence, he believes, and he truly believes that he's gonna win it. He doesn't have to say it, but when you're watching this, subconsciously it will convince you that he is a winner before even he starts. But let's see what his words say. Gentlemen, thanks so much for being here. Let's begin the debate and let's start with the issue that voters consistently say is their top concern, the economy. President Biden, inflation has slowed, but prices remain high. Since you took office, the price of essentials has increased. For example, a basket of groceries that cost $100 then now costs more than $120. And typical home prices have jumped more than 30%. What do you say to voters who feel they are worse off under your presidency than they were under President Trump? We got to take a look at what I was left when I became president and what Mr. Trump left me. We had an economy that was in free fall. The pandemic was so badly handled. Many people were dying. All he said was, it's not that serious. Just inject a little bleach into your arm. You'll be all right. The economy collapsed. There were no jobs. Unemployment rate rose to 15. I don't know if you realize it, but if I could go big to talk to you this whole video, you wouldn't be watching it, right? Exactly. If he is the president of the United States, he should have gone to some kind of school to teach him how to speak in public. And what he is saying here is a statement. The pandemic was bad. President Trump left me dot dot dot. With a statement, people like to argue. For an example, if I tell you I am the best YouTuber, you'll be like, no, you're not right? But if I tell you, I think that I'm the best YouTuber, okay, it's your opinion. So the fact that he started off with a statement, it's a little bit bad. Let's see what else he has to say. It was terrible. And so what we had to do is try to put things back together again. And that's exactly what we began to do. We created 15,000 new jobs. And we brought out in the, the position where we have 800,000 new manufacturing jobs. But there's more to be done. There's more to be done. Working class people are still in trouble. I come from Scranton, Pennsylvania. I come of household where the kitchen table, if the things weren't able to be met during the month, it was a, pr a problem. Price of eggs, the price of gas, the price of housing, the price of a whole range of things. That's why I'm working so hard to make sure. So what it sounds is he is saying, I got a bad situation. I'm trying to clear it up. And then he's trying to target the middle aged people. Be like, I got your back. I know you're still struggling, but we're gonna clear it up. So sort of playing for the middle-aged people. Then they'll feel like someone got my back, I'll support them. I deal with those problems. And we're gonna make sure that we reduce the price of housing. We're gonna make sure we build two What he just said was the basic needs that everyone needs. Because he's trying to show you that I got your back. We're new units. We're gonna make sure we cap rents so corporate greed can't take over. The combination, what I was left with in corporate greed is the reason why we're in this problem right now. In addition to that, we're in a situation where if you had to take a look at all that was done in his administration, he didn't do much at all. By the time he left, there were things were in chaos, literally chaos. And so we put things back together. We created, I said, those jobs. We make sure we had a situation where we now, we brought down the price of prescription drugs, which is a major issue for many people, to $15 for, for uh, a insulin shot as opposed to $400. No senior has to pay more than $200 for any drug, all the drugs they can include beginning next year. And the situation is making, and we're gonna make that available to everybody, to all Americans. So we're working to bring down the price of around the kitchen table, and that's what we're gonna get done. He is still targeting that middle age. He's saying that drugs were like, I, I don't really understand what he's saying. Drugs are like $400, and he's bringing them to 15, it should be 200. I'm not getting what he's saying, but do you realize the the way he's saying it, that he's targeting that middle-aged people that he left alone throughout his presidency. Sort of like the rich people made it out there and the poor people have a lot of support, but that middle-aged people, he's trying to show them that we got your back. Thank you, President Trump. We had the greatest economy in the history of our country. 
and we have never done so well. Every, everybody was amazed by it. Other countries were copying us. We got hit with COVID. And when we did, we spent the money necessary so we wouldn't end up in a Great Depression, the likes of which we had in 1929. Okay, watch this. President Trump is a little bit better than President Biden with his first statement. He's saying that we were the best country. He follows up his statements with a fact, which is we hit the pandemic, okay? Because I followed it up with a true fact, it's more likely you will believe the other things I'm saying because you'll be like, oh yes, it's true, right? We had the pandemic and our country is the best country, right? You get what I'm saying. By the time we finished, so we did a great job. We got a lot of credit for the economy, a lot of credit for the military and no wars and so many other things. Everything was rocking good. But the thing we never got the credit for and we should have is getting us out of that COVID mess. Uh, he created mandates that was a disaster for our country. But other than that, we had, we had given them back a a country where the stock market actually was higher than pre-COVID, and nobody thought that was even possible. Uh, the only jobs he created are for illegal immigrants and bounce-back jobs, a bounce-back from the COVID. He has not done a good job. He's done a poor job, and inflation's killing our country. Before the debates, they clearly said that they're not allowed to appear anything before the debate. Look at President Biden. It looks like he's reading something, looking down and reading a paper. Is that allowed? Pre-written notes, props, or contact with campaign staff are not permitted during the debate. Please, please, please let me know. Should I do another video like this on the debate? Should I finish off the whole debate or should I do it on other ones? If yes, let me know. This video will disappear in three, two, one.